Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got um, I've got a Blood Orange IPA for you and it's from Beavertown. Another Beavertown beer. And this one I believe is a seasonal one. And it is a can of their Bloody L Blood Orange IPA. So Bloody L or Bloody L as we say around here in the North London area. Um, it's coming in at 5.5% ABV, this Blood Orange IPA. It has very little information about the beer, but as ever with Beavertown, the main points to the artwork is skulls. Big orange skull with a little core bit on top of it to look slightly like an orange. Bit trippy. Big orange can. Orange top to it. 5.5% ABV Blood Orange IPA. Looking forward to this one. Let's get it out of the can, into a glass, see what we're dealing with. In she goes. Here it is. So this is the Beaver Town Blood Orange, Bloody L Blood Orange IPA. Uh, pretty clear, that one. Decent enough levels of carbonation. See the bubbles flying up that one. It's got half a finger of white head on it. Um, yeah, looks good. Slight haste to it. Very slight. Let's have an aroma. Lots of orange. Grapefruit. Orange and grapefruit. Big citrusy aroma on this one. But loads of orange. When I first cracked the can and poured it, it, it smelt like I was pouring a can of Fanta. If you've had a, a can of orange uh, pop soda whatever you want to call it really orangey that's kind of died down now it's not as that there's no sweetness or that sugary aroma that you get with a fanta for example but very orangey very grapefruity not really getting much in the way of hops but it's really citrusy let's get a taste cheers Really citrusy, really orangey, zesty, nicely carbonated. No real bitterness to the back end, no real hoppy profile on this one. But there's grapefruit, lots of orange. Not a lot else, if I'm honest. Getting that blood orange, getting that grapefruit, getting that slight um, citrus bitterness. It's not a hoppy bitterness, it's a citrus bitterness. I believe from the grapefruit. And at the end, the aftertaste, it's this ever so subtle bitterness in it. Um, it doesn't say what hops or anything were used. It just says contains barley, but that's just they, uh, they've got to cover themselves by saying that, haven't they? People are allergic to things. So. Which is a shame. You'd like a bit of information, really. Um, it's very drinkable. It's very nice. On a day like today, where it's another warm one, this is perfect. Um, but there's no um, there's no complexity to it. There's no real hoppiness to it. It's very citrusy. It's very drinkable. Very refreshing. Uh, nicely carbonated. Um, it's 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 all right. You know, it's not amazing, but it's all right. Oh. I got this in Waitrose and it wasn't cheap uh, I paid £2.70 I believe if I remember correctly for a 330ml can of this stuff um, would I pay that again? no would I drink it again? yeah possibly I wouldn't mind trying it on draft um, yeah I'd like to see what it's like on tap if it was any, any good um but going by that, it's very drinkable, but it, again, there's no complexity to it. I'm not really getting much of a, 
of the IPA side of things in that. It's just a very citrusy, light, um, light bodied, thin, watery. Yeah, 5.5% ABV. I'm not getting any of that um, at all. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a little bit disappointed with it, if I'm honest. Um, it is drinkable, but so are a lot of other things. Uh, I'm saying I'm not getting any IPA, I'm not getting any hops, no real bitterness from any hops or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's a, a bit of a shame that one. Um, that's bang average. Um, I'll go right down the middle because I'm quite enjoying it. It's drinkable, but it's it's not a good IPA. Um, there's a lot of orange, there's a lot of grapefruit. There's certainly a citrusy uh, taste to it, and it is drinkable. But now I feel like I'm just repeating myself trying to find something good to say about this beer yeah um i don't know they've done better and it's supposed to be a seasonal one which is why they're charging a premium for it um yeah i think i'd have to have this one on draft to get another opinion on it but from a can i'm not all that impressed to feel most with you i'm going to give it a score and i'm going to score it i'm going to score it a five Five and a half, maybe, out of ten. Um, it's certainly got lots of orange in it. It's certainly very citrusy. It's certainly very drinkable. But that's all good I can say about it, really. It, it says it's a blood orange IPA, and you expect a bit of hoppiness from an IPA, and there isn't any, really, um, at all. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with it, but it's all right. So I think a five, five and a half out of ten is fair. For Beaver Towns, bloody hell, blood orange IPA. Five and a half out of ten from Paul's Beer Reviews. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one, guys. Take care.